Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be looking at financial strategies, um, and this is also part three of three of global financial management, and we'll look at hedging and derivatives. So firstly, what is hedging? So when when two parties uh, agree to exchange currency um, and finalize a deal immediately, the transaction is referred to as a spot exchange. Now, the spot exchange rate is the value of one, current, uh, one currency in another currency on a particular day. So at a particular point in time, what is the value of one currency to another? Sometimes the spot exchange rate may not be favorable, um, and, and currency fluctuations can be a real concern for businesses. However, it's possible for businesses to minimize this risk of currency fluctuations through what we call hedging. So, kind of like the, the, the saying, you know, hedge your bets, where you spread, you find ways to spread risk um, to try and minimize it. So that's what this is as well. So we've got natural hedging. So some strategies a business can implement to minimize currency fluctuation risks include um, establishing offshore subsidiaries. So rather than having to deal with um, a, a, you know, um, an, a, another business in China or Japan, you just simply open up another branch there, open up a subsidiary there. That way, that dealing locally with the currency there, there's no changing of um, monies internationally. Um, so it tries to minimize that uh, that, that risk. Um, a, another strategy could be uh, arranging for imports and exports to be in the same foreign currency. Uh, so any losses will be offset by gains. So um, rather than saying, let's, uh, you know, do Australian or Chinese money, let's just uh, use American money instead, you know, the US dollar. Um, or they can implement marketing strategies to reduce the price sensitivity of the exported product. So make their product so indispensable that it doesn't matter how much it costs, people still want it. So that, that was natural hedging. Now let's look at uh, financial instrument hedging. So, apart from, you know, natural hedges, there are a growing number of financial products available called derivatives that can be used to minimize or spread the risk of exchange rate fluctuations. So let's look at, let's look at derivatives now. Um, now, in a nutshell, derivatives are just simple financial instruments uh, that can be used to lessen or minimize the exporting risks associated with current currency fluctuations. However, if they're used unwisely, they can be just as dangerous as the risks against which they are supposed to protect. So if you don't use them properly, you can actually end up losing instead of gaining. Um, so an example of uh, some examples of derivatives. So we've got the forward exchange contract. Now a forward exchange, uh, a forward exchange contract or a forward, uh, a forward currency exchange contract um, is a contract to exchange one currency for another at an agreed rate on a future date. So, for example, you might say, um, I'm going to exchange, um, you know, 1 million Australian dollars for American dollars at whatever rate it may be um, in 90 days. So in 90 days from today, I'm going to trade a million dollars Australian into American, uh, into American dollars. Okay. Now, this means that the bank guarantees the exporter a fixed rate of exchange for the money generated from their sales. So again, it could however backfire because in 90 days, the exchange rate might actually be higher. So you're actually losing money here. However, you're guaranteed a fixed rate of exchange though. Um, we've got an options contract as well. Now, an option gives the buyer or the option holder as they're known, the right, but not the obligation. So they can pull out if they want to, but not the obligation to buy or sell foreign currency at a specified exchange, uh, a specified exchange rate at some time in the future. So basically what this means is it, it's kind of like a forward exchange contract. However, if they, um, if at the, at the point in time, the exchange rate, um, is, uh, not as favorable, they can actually then pull out of it. Okay, so they're protected from those unfavorable exchange rates. So they can just say, "Look, it's not as high as I hoped. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to go ahead with it." Um, so they they end up gaining from that from that movement. Then, okay. Um, and we've also got a swap contract finally here. 
So um, a currency swap, that's an agreement to exchange currency in the spot market. So at this point in time, how much it costs with an agreement to reverse the transaction in the future. So it involves a spot sale of one currency, okay, together with a forward repurchase of the currency at a specified date in the future. So for example, swapping 50 million Australian now for US dollars, and then in 90 days or 60 days or three months, they swap it back around. Then they say, okay, well, now that 50 million US, we're going to swap that back into Australian with the hope that whatever changes um, have happened in the currency exchange rate, they end up actually making money that way. Uh, businesses also use currency swaps uh, when they need to raise finance in a, um, uh, in a currency issued by a country, which they're not really well known for. Um, so they, that means that they, if they were to raise money there, they'd have to pay a higher rate than for other better known businesses. So using a swap contract helps them get their foot in the door with the banks in that country. So then they know that they're reliable. They know they're able to pay back on time and they're, they're, you know, they, they keep to their word. Um, so it helps them then sort of get their foot in the door in order to, to then raise finance in that country and not get slugged a high rate because they're, a, they're, um, they're an unknown entity. So I hope this video on um, global financial management looking at hedging and deri uh, derivatives has been informative. Um, thank you very much for watching the finance unit videos.